at 31, I had a question coming out of section 5.6, number 25. And here we were asked to find the end behavior of our our um, rational function. So again, I do have a rational function. I, I want to point this out. And again, like always, we've got three domain issues that we keep coming back to, right? We've got fractions, radicals, and logarithms. And while I don't have a radical nor a logarithm here, I do have a fraction. So there we go. I'm going to need to address that. And we always address it by letting our denominator zero out. So here you see me letting my denominator zero out. I'm going to get x equaling negative one half. So I, I have a problem at negative one half. My domain is all real numbers except for negative one half. And that's why you see me throwing it out there. Another thing to keep in mind is because negative one half zeroes out only the denominator, right? Zeroes out only the denominator. Oops, I love when that happens. Let me get this denominator. All right, that means that we're going to have a vertical asymptote there. All right, and that's why you see me making that little note here. We have a vertical asymptote. Okay, now for end behavior, which is actually the question they asked us about, how this works is when you look at your function, if you look up the degree on the numerator, it's x to the first power, and the degree on the denominator is also x to the first power. So our highest degrees on both numerator and denominator are x to the first. Now let me erase this because that gets a little crowded. What I want to do then is look at this ratio. We only care about the lead terms. That is what's driving the end behavior. And so when we look at just x in ratio to 2x, that simplifies to 1 half, and that becomes our horizontal asymptote. And that was one of our cases for end behavior. All right, when the degree in the numerator is the same as the degree in the denominator, you look at the ratio of the lead coefficients. And whatever that ratio is, and for this particular problem, it was 1 half, you will always have a horizontal asymptote at that ratio. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.